in the journey to creating Icon of the Seas. This iconic vacation starts to come to life in the design and construction stages. This is the point where experts put pen to paper in what is a years-long process that involves everything from interior design to engineering the largest and tallest thrills. Follow along as the teams dive into some of the key milestones and challenges that come with the most ambitious timeline ever seen. We are in the most rewarding phase of the building. The ship is now physically growing. We have 3,000 people working on the ship every day at the moment. So every week, the ship is progressing in a very substantial way. And we can see that the dreaming, the work, what we have been doing five years now, is really coming to a reality. Icon will follow very much in the footsteps of some of the, the great ships that this company has built. Uh, Sovereign of the Seas and Oasis of the Seas, and now Icon of the Seas. It's so innovative, it's so special. We really start with concept design. It's really about how is a guest going to experience and feel within this space. And then from there, we are working through how big does this space need to be. Those types of decisions are what lock in very early, because those will all have weight impacts, those will have steel impact. The pace picks up tenfold when construction begins and to create a vacation unlike any other. That requires doing things differently and in record time. The Oasis class, which was built here in this yard, changed the, the face of cruising. Uh, Icon will do the same for the next generation. It all started in Turku, Finland where Royal Caribbean and their longtime shipyard partner, Meyer Turku, cut the first piece of steel. Here we are, it's a very exciting day, and I think it's the beginning of a new chapter for Royal Caribbean, and I know that at Royal Caribbean International, we truly are very excited about Icon of the Seas, and we look forward to the future. We've built a lot of ships here in Turku, and we're very excited to build the largest and most spectacular of them all, Icon of the Seas. So the construction of Icon of the Seas began in June of 2021. And since we deliver in 2023, it is actually one of the most aggressive timelines that has ever existed for a new build, let alone for the size and the complexity. We are building the ship like very large grand blocks which are built in a different place. All the technical, all the cables, all the trunks, all the AC ducting are in there. So they lift the mega block from a dry dock onto the ship. That also helped to reduce production time because as more they produce on site, in factories, not on the ship itself, this is how they cut down the time. The first one that we put in there is the keel for the keel laying ceremony. It symbolizes really the starting point of assembling the ship in the dry dock and it is a celebration. Great. Okay. Is it big enough? <laughs> From Miami and New York City to Germany and beyond, parts of ICON are now taking shape around the world. That includes the installation of two massive liquefied natural gas tanks, which will power ICON with the cleanest fossil fuel available. At the same time, Royal Caribbean's design work continues. Using the latest technology, even 3D models, life-size mock-ups, and in-person visits. We are still finalizing on our side in the, in the local design phase, some of the materiality, some of the colors, whether it's a Mexican restaurant versus an Italian restaurant. The Innovation Lab has been, for us, much more powerful and needed. And that has given us a, an opportunity to really 
visualize the design, test the designs at very early stage, and calibrate and make sure that that is right. We mock up a lot. So whether it's in Turku or elsewhere in the world where mock-ups are created that we then go fly to look at. So after two long years of being away from Turku, uh, we are finally able to get back and see not only our colleagues that we've been working with over the years, but also start to see the ship falling into place. By December, ICON will be about 80% done from a construction perspective. We are really working heavily with our operational partners now and refining all the details. This is magnificent! The moving parts of this iconic adventure are well underway, and what's to come is something you have to see to believe. Like the moment the single largest superstructure is lifted onto a cruise ship. And just how and where will the teams add more water and weight than ever before? Up next in Making an Icon, you'll finally see all that's in store when Icon of the Seas is revealed. <laughs>